I am home from seeing Shazam, and right off the bat, I, I am so happy right now. Okay, for those who do not know, Shazam is one of my favorite comic book characters that has ever existed. He's kind of like my Superman. Um, at a young age, I read Kingdom Come, uh, back when he was Captain Marvel. Huge thing. Video for another time. This amazingness right here. Ho, ho, ho. Spoilers. Shazam and Superman throw down. I want you to read this to find out for yourself what happens. But this right here created my love for this character. And after watching that movie... <laughs> As well, guys, this is a non-spoiler review. Uh, I will be dropping a spoiler review later on Tuesday this upcoming week. Look out for it. It's going to be dope. I'll be diving more into Shazam, a little bit into the mythos of the character, backstories of every character in the film, film itself, because... Yeah. Shazam, directed by David F. Sandberg, uh, stars Asher Angel and uh, Zachary Levi as the Billy Batson Shazam combo, as well <laughs> as Jack Dylan Grazer being the funniest part of the movie just freaking just throughout, man. That kid is hilarious. Straight up, I'm telling you, he stole the show in every scene. I mean, Zachary Levi did at times too. I mean, it was really good give and take between them. But damn, kid from it, man. For those who don't know the story of Billy Batson, he's a foster child. Uh, at a young age, his parents basically gone. Um, and he was a kid growing up through the foster system. Uh, going from county to county, from county from county, trying to escape these these foster homes and foster parents to get back to his mom and dad. And the cool underlying theme of this film is is family, and and the way they incorporate each character uh, as brothers and sisters to Billy Batson, his foster parents. I mean, it's it's really cool how they show a little bit on what they can do to a kid and his drive to find who his true birth parents are, which is the character of Billy Batson. So they just freaking hit that nail on the head. Yeah, so just give you a little background on the character. Um, the way they incorporate how he is in the comic books into the film, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is one of the most accurate comic book depictions of a comic book character I have ever seen translated on the big screen. Zachary Levi and Asher Angel knocked this out of the park. They absolutely killed it. Zachary Levi is Shazam. He played that character to a, to a T, man. Technical T, I'm throwing technicals. As well, guys, the villain, Dr. Savannah, played well by Mark Strong. He does, I mean, come on, does villains like nobody's business. What DC is doing with these movies as a whole, the turnaround from BVS and Justice League has been drastic. I mean, dude, let's let's call it what it is. Wonder Woman was great. Aquaman was great. This movie is great. It's great. It's essentially big. Uh, the Tom Hanks movie mixed in with the Goonies, mixed in with superpowers, caught up in the DC world. Yeah. The strongest part of this film is the comedy and that is is very rare for a dc film as we know going in i knew it was going to be funny i knew there would be moments where it was going to be funny watching the trailers i didn't think it was going to be this funny every audience member i'm serious everyone that i was sitting next to the jokes that were planned out even some that weren't they were laughing it was it was an incredible experience to watch Shazam, a, a character I never, I never thought he'd get his own film. Being real about that, but to watch Shazam succeed on the silver screen, man, I'm blown away right now. I am. This is this is a very, it's a very weird feeling, but it's a good feeling. This is this is cool. <laughs> Every time he transforms into Shazam, when Astro Angel goes Shazam, and then boom in the trailer. 
where he's running off the roof and he jumps and just shazam and just that shot man <laughs> as well the action was on point as you guys know in the trailers they have those training scenes like the super strength training scene where he punches the the pillar of cement and it all breaks guys there's so much of that in this movie there's so much there's so much side stuff that that, that 14 year olds would do if they got superpowers let's test this let's do that let's do this let's do that it is absolutely hilarious Guys, I love this movie through and through, actually. I am I'm still debating on if it, if it is my favorite DCEU movie, because, I mean, you guys know how I felt about Aquaman. I really dug Aquaman, and I really loved Wonder Woman. But right now, dude, this might be my favorite DCEU movie. And I'm not even trying to, like, hype this up or anything, because, you know, just because I'm a, Shaz like, a Shazam fanboy... This movie is really good. Also, there are some there's some dark parts in this movie. It is it is very well balanced. I guess what I'm trying to say, uh, uh, tonally, you know, it wasn't trying to bounce all over the place, trying to make up its mind on on what the movie is. You can tell that Shazam from the get go is set out on a mission to tell a story of Billy Batson, of his foster uh, brothers and sisters around him, of Doctor Savannah and intersect everything so, so poetically in a way. I mean that, the way they did it was just, job well done. Dr. Savannah was so BA too. I mean that, I, <laughs> to think of all the characters, like villains they throw in for the first Shazam movie, you know, not Black Adam, which I thought it would be, Dr. Savannah, damn! The only, I guess, bad thing I can say about the movie is the CG isn't perfect at times it's not bad at all cg is not bad at all but at times you can just be like oh yeah it's cg but it doesn't break the movie you know some cg can actually like break a scene you're sitting there like oh that stands out oh it's just, mm -hmm. and it hurts your eyes nah with this it didn't didn't break any scene i think flowed in well yeah and all around this is a movie you can take anyone to see and i think they'll enjoy I mean this, all around, you can take anyone to see this movie, and they will enjoy a part of it. That right there is the sign of a good movie, is everyone in the theater was laughing, at the end of it, people were clapping, everyone was having a good time. I mean, at the end, as we're sitting there waiting for the mid credit scene and the end credit scene, two, two end credit scenes, wait for them till the very end, um, as we're waiting, people are sitting there saying, oh, that was really good. Oh, that was really good. I'm sitting there writing my notes. That was really good. I could go on about how cool this movie was, but that will wait for Tuesday, as well as my number grade, guys. So on Tuesday, I'll be dropping my full spoiler discussion, review, everything about this movie, and my, my, my number grade. I am, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, guys, thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you shazam that subscribe button to keep updated on all my latest content. But for now, I'm Jackson, this is Gotham Saves Geekdom, and I hope you have the best day.